Hello there. Um, I'm going to do a quick video on how to change your language settings. So that way, spell check works for you in French uh, within Google Docs. So within Google Docs, if you type a sentence incorrectly, and I am notorious for bad spelling, um, let me spell this sentence incorrect. Within Google Docs, what will happen is usually um, it finds uh, the word that you have spelt incorrectly with a red underline similar to Microsoft Word. It doesn't happen all the time. You can see it kind of pause there, and I just had to keep typing to get it to happen. But then if you right click on this, um, you get the suggestion for what it should be. So that's not bad within English, and it works well. But let's say, for example, you're typing a French sentence, and you type some words incorrectly. So I'm going to type some words here. Uh, let's spell it incorrectly, sorry. You can see it picks up um, new tool, and if you click on it, it will provide you with a suggestion in French of new tool, but it's not picking up the different spell ete. So to kind of get um, spell um, correction to work within Google Docs for French, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go over to your menu and click on File, and scroll down to Language. Under Language, they have a lot of different um, settings for different languages, and what I'm going to want you to do is scroll down to Frances. Canada. So there's your French. And now, obviously, the dog is hungry. It comes up um, as spelled incorrectly, but I'll just kind of leave that. And now, um, as you type your next word, you can see it now picks up that ete is spelled incorrectly. So if I right click on YouTube, it also gives me a lot more um, suggestions for YouTube. So I can change that correctly. So that's spelled correctly. And then I can right click and get ete. And then to finish off my word, I can just turn on my accent so I can finish this one off. Uh, I'll still kind of do this one um, incorrectly, and we'll get some. Uh, we'll get a suggestion for that. So I'll go with the accent, right? Um, let's say I can't spell the glass. As I keep going, uh, they, and so you can see it picks it up there now. That's spelled incorrectly. And it gives me a variety of different spellings. So there we go. i pick that one. And now the sentence la nuit it's a dégueulasse, is spelled correctly. Um, if you would like to, you can also have other um, things done to this. You can use read and write to have this uh, read back to you. Um, and we've made a video on that. You can follow the link here to uh, be able to view on how to use read and write to have that read back to you, um, or how to have a read and write predict and uh, use the predictive text feature within read and write to uh, help you with writing in French. So uh, if you're unsure on how to turn on easy accents, um, there's also um, a link here on how to use and turn on easy accents uh, within Google Docs. So you will be able to have uh, accents uh, easily inserted in uh, to your text. I hope you found that helpful, and don't forget afterwards if you want your sentences in English to be able to be spell check in English. Don't forget to go to File, Language, and change it back to English when you're done. And then hopefully Hungary will be refixed. Wonderful. So I hope that was helpful, and uh, take care.